All right, so we've looked at the contact sheet and we've picked this photo. So I've pulled out that strip. And what we're gonna do is just make sure we have the right one. All right, I know it's this one. And I'm gonna use this orange cloth. This is called antistaticum. And it'll be found right here, okay? Alternatively, you can use one of the puffy air brushes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the negative, then we're gonna clean it after we load it as well as before we load it and then we're gonna do a test strip. So I'm gonna just wipe this guy down. Just use the anti-staticum to kind of wipe it away. Okay. And then I'm gonna come over here to the whichever one I wanna use. Uh, I'll use this one again. And next to it, there's a bunch of plates, okay? These are for different film sizes. So this is for 35 millimeter, 120 film, and large format. So let's take the 35 millimeter plate and it's going to go in to our machine like this, where we're going to have these two notches going to be facing the back and white's going to be facing up. So I'm going to lay this down. These are two different plates. They separate. And I'm going to look at my picture. Okay. And I want to do it where I can either flip it this way or this way but generally you wanna have the shiny side up and I'm just kind of positioning it there in place. I'm gonna hold this up for you to see. So you can see there's the photo, right? So I'm gonna position that in place. It's pretty dirty. I can actually see some watermarks on it, which could be from the photo flow, from other things. Let me get that back in there. Okay. Put this top plate on. Oh. Well, it would help if I'm putting it on the right way. And that's gonna sandwich on top of my film, okay. And then I'm gonna hold it up to the light and just see how it looks, get it nice, in perfect position, okay. And then you can either get your cleaning brush, come in, clean it, or we can use the cloth to do the same thing. So I'm just gonna look and see if there's any noticeable watermarks. Looks good to me. All right. So then I take my hand on the back, lift it up. Plate is gonna slide in here and you'll feel it sort of naturally rest into place. Okay. Close that. And now we're ready to make our test print now that that's all loaded up. So I'm gonna hit the lights and there's a couple of different stages. We're going to, uh, we're gonna focus our print. So we're gonna make sure it's in focus. And then we're going to actually do our test strip. And then we're gonna adjust, or we're gonna adjust contrast and then we'll do our test strip. So I'm gonna turn on my enlarger, turn it to the on mode, to the focus mode. And I can see there is my image, but it's super blurry right now, right? So let's grab the handle that moves the bellows. I'm going to adjust that and you can see down here that I'm getting it in focus. Sometimes it can help too if it's too bright to point one of these lights up in a different direction. All right, so I loaded it upside down. That's on me. Uh, just totally didn't even think about that. So. You know, you can flip it, but you can see my image start to appear. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, uh, there's printers under here. So next to our proof printer, there's these these printers that are double-sided. So this is for five by seven and then wallet sizes, and this is for an eight by 10. So we're gonna be doing eight by tens. I would recommend for your first print doing a five by seven just to test it out, but I'm gonna be using an eight by 10 so that it's a little bit easier uh, to see. So I set the, the printer in here. So I'm on the high light right now and I'm gonna just open up my aperture all the way. So I don't wanna look at it like this. I wanna see it you know, nice and bright. So the aperture on my lens is nice and open. And what I'm gonna do is first adjust the crop of my image. So right now, if I look, right, this is cropping an eight by 10. It's giving me a nice little border. I probably wanna move this a little bit further away. I can straighten that out. Pick a nice composition, okay. Now I'm gonna focus 
my actual print. So I need to focus my print. Next to each printer are a couple of different focus finders. I like the smaller ones, but you can use either one. This is a really difficult thing to show on camera. So I'm gonna direct you to a couple of other resources that are gonna show it better. But basically I'm gonna be looking through this hole and put my hand up on the, uh, the focuser, if I can find it, there it is. Put my hand up on the focuser and I'm gonna be adjusting this until I can see the grain of the film. And I can see it right there. And again, this is hard to show on camera, so I'm just going to show you some example images of what in focus and out of focus looks like. I'm not focusing my picture, I'm focusing the negative itself. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the grain of the image, the little silver halide crystals that have actually formed this negative and making sure that they're in focus. All right, once we're good with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. Let's put this on low. I actually like to print on a sort of lower light. Uh, and what we're gonna do is set our timer, let's do five seconds. And then, um, so we'll do a test strip. So I'm gonna turn this to, so my middle switch goes down. I'm gonna go get a test strip from my glossy paper. I always like glossy, so that's what I use. And I'm gonna do this first test strip. We're gonna see what it looks like. And then depending how that looks, we might uh, adjust the contrast. So I'm gonna lay my test strip. I always like to do it diagonally across an image. I'm gonna close this. So I'm gonna get my cardboard and I'm gonna cover up as much of this as I can. And I'm gonna do five second increments, okay? So I'm gonna hit the expose switch. That turns it on for five seconds. So five. Ten. Fifteen. I always call it out loud. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. So I always call it out loud so I remember what my last number is. It's thirty-five. I'm gonna take the strip and let's develop it. Do our usual one minute in. So we're gonna just do exactly like how we did the contact test strip. So one minute, 30 seconds, one minute for the, con for the test strip. And then we're gonna evaluate it. 